centuries and in later folk music. Or a small, simple variety of oboe. It's an 18th century French carol. Oh, an oboe used chiefly in 19th century France. So. Okay, we're going to have prayer. Okay. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much for this wonderful day that we've had for <coughs> been enjoying so much of the music, praising you. Thank you says for the choir this morning, it's beautiful. Please be with us today and this evening and we enjoy uh, having a fun time together and praising you this evening before our get together. Be with those who could not be with us or those who are traveling here. Please help us in your prayer. Amen. 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 Well, let me go see the young ones already. Ty, do you want to share your poem? Before you're gone? Yeah. <coughs> something about me playing, no, but sorry. Uh, reading one of mom's poems. Mm -hmm. You know, she wrote so many poems. Uh, I've never counted how many there are. Sorry, no, I'm, I'm quite thinking. Can you hear me? Hear no. 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 You can't hear me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you yeah. yeah. Do you have any yelling to it? No. 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 It is like a, a real rotten little kid. <laughs> okay, this one she this one she wrote in December 1997. Um, there's a cheerfulness at Christmas. Folks seem friendlier to me. What excitement there is for children as secret gifts are under the tree. It seems to me at Christmas time the colors are much more bold. There's greener greens and redder reds, glitterings of silver and of gold. But the true meaning of the season often seems to be passed by, that we celebrate the birth of Jesus and his second coming in the sky. So enjoy all the decorations, all your friends and family too, but remember the Christ in Christmas, for he was born just for me and you. And then another one I found she wrote way back in 1986. <laughs> I have a lot of them. <laughs> I remember it well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, a lot of them I don't have dates for. So. Way old. But she started writing poems as far as I know when Margie was a toddler. Jonathan was born in 1986. Was I remember he? it well. <laughs> this is called It's Christmas Time Again. Holly, mistletoe, evergreen, evergreen wreaths on the door. Music of carols, bells. There's gifts galore. What gift do I have to bring to my king? Or was I planning to bring him anything? What do I have that he might treasure? What could it be to bring him pleasure? He doesn't need my silver nor my gold. He knows there's nothing that I withhold. I want to celebrate this Christmas day to please my Lord in a Christ-like way. So take my heart. My life, my days, help me to use them so you I'll praise. If you'd like a season full of joy and cheer, then put Christ in your Christmas this year. Amen. Amen. This just touched me this afternoon. I guess it still does. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be sorry. <laughs> That's what I want for our own church. <laughs>
change your mind, have you? Yeah. What? Uh -huh. I can, if I can sing, I can sing. If I can't, I'll have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that I lost my voice. So, all right, we'll try.
I'm in your way. <coughs> okay. Well, let's do this. <laughs>
in the trappings and miss the truth. The truth, the heart of Christmas is for better than these. The heart of Christmas is Jesus. Christmas in one sense is about us. God loves us so much that he became flesh for us, died to forgive us our sins, and God resurrected him to give us everlasting life. Christmas is a celebration of what Jesus did for us. In return, let us make Christmas all about Jesus, loving him, serving him, praising him. <clears throat> like Mary, let us all say, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Let us celebrate the first arrival of Jesus Christ when he came down from heaven to dwell among us and become our Savior. Okay, so we'll sing another hymn. Uh, 127. Feel free to join me on the second verse.
and rejoicing. Amen. Put your hat back. You play Put your cap back. Well, if I could, I'd like to share with you something. This, I'm my only child, and so the world revolved around me. That, and, you know, I never thought that I would end up with so many nieces and nephews <laughs> and brothers and sisters. Amen. Because, you know, being a, a kid growing up, you just don't realize that you're going to end up with a massive amount of brothers and sisters and people that, you know, because of your church family, you have all these people that are now part of your family. Amen. And so it, uh, it touches me to realize that, you know, we also need to remember it's not necessarily the season of presence, like presence you under that, but it's presence of being around, you know, your loved ones. And our world is a lot bigger than we think it is because we have our big extended family. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for all of them. To see the little ones grow up into these young adults that are doing wonderful things with their lives. Mm -hmm. I feel blessed to be a part of that. Amen. 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 Thank you. 